Well, first of all, thank you for uh, Dr. Woods and Dr. T and this whole experience has been amazing. I learned so much. I'd like to thank my wife and our three cats for being my gateway to motion. Uh, without them, I wouldn't be where I am. Uh, I'm deeply grateful for the mentorship that I've received from both cohorts of the Health Ambassador Program, uh, and especially from Dr. T and Dr. Woods. They taught me that advocacy takes many forms, and sometimes it happens on the screen. As a third year podiatric medical student, I've learned that healing doesn't only happen in our clinics and operating rooms, it happens in the digital spaces where our patients spend their time scrolling at midnight, Googling symptoms, trying to understand what's happening in their bodies. In a world of endless scrolling and disappearing stories, matters of urgency need to meet people where they are. And right now, that's social media. In healthcare, we fight on many fronts. There is the clinical front, the surgical front, the policy front, and then there's the social media front. That's where we find those who need us most, the underrepresented, the underserved, and the misinformed. When distrust of medical institutions run at an all-time high, we must show up intentionally with evidence-based, relatable, and accessible information about limb preservation. Because here's the truth. A 60-second Instagram post about proper foot care or the early warning signs of diabetic foot disease delivered at the right time to the right person can save someone's ability to walk. Our patients are already there, searching and scrolling, and they're counting on us to show up. I'll see you there and I hope you'll join me.